As tough as Namath was, he had not yet brought the Jets a title. And in 1967, despite leading the league in interceptions for the second straight year, he stubbornly continued to do things his way. Confidence, that was his mantra. Too confident, uh, especially when it comes to throwing the football. Hey! God dang it. There were rules for Joe, and there were rules for the rest of the team. We understood that. Joe was special. And if he didn't like that, that's tough. Sometimes we, uh, we get in the huddle with Joe, you had to back away from the huddle because the fumes were like coming out of his skin. He had a hangover. He did not miss a practice, but he enjoyed the nightlife of New York City. And there was some, a lot of Sundays. He's on the table in the back, and they're trying to dry him out. <laughs> but he had enough gumptions, enough sense to get to that stadium early. Okay. <laughs> the Jets needed their superstar to take a leadership role, and in 1968, they elected him team captain. Everybody felt it was time, you know, enough with the playboy. It's time to step up be the leader that we know you are. Maybe I needed a little more responsibility, I don't know. That, that, that could have been. I mean, it did change my way of thinking somewhat. But becoming captain did not transform Namath into a winner overnight. Fires in the middle, it is intercepted! In the first five games of the 68 season, Namath was intercepted 12 times. You can't throw these interceptions. You can't play this way. We need to play a little differently. You don't have to throw for 300 yards. Let's establish the run, play defense, and throw the ball when we have to. And here's a handoff, a dive, and a touchdown. Booster made it. You do what you need to do to win. You see, this is the bottom line. Win the game. Namath changed his play-calling strategy and elevated his game to a new level. He led the Jets to an 11-3 record and was named the league's most valuable player. He had brought his team one win away from the Super Bowl. Now came his next hurdle, beat the Raiders for the AFL championship. I'm a police trainee in the 17th Precinct, which is on 51st Street between 3rd and Lex. And across the street is the Summit Hotel. I get off at 7.30 that morning, it's a Sunday morning, and coming out of the Summit is Joe Namath with a beautiful model in tow. And he looks like he's been partying all night. You know, I'm a Jet fan and keenly aware of what's going on. There's a big game today, championship game. So myself and a few friends, we decided we're going to bet against the Jets, our own team. Back at Shea Stadium in New York, there is a gusting wind here today, and the temperature has dropped to 37 degrees. We were as close as we could be to going to the championship game, the world championship game, the world championship game. For people to accept him as a great quarterback, the Jets had to win that game. I mean, they knew he was flashy and a great arm, but he hadn't won anything. I got my bell rung in the first quarter, got a little dislocated finger in the second quarter. I'm on the ground and my hand's hurting like heck. Boy, and I, I just peeked and I just did like that. I didn't want to see the rest. It was pointing that way, kind of. So I just got up and ran over there and just gave it to the trainer. And then he got it back. The ball was frozen. So when I slap that up to him, think about it. When you have a broken finger, a dislocated knuckle, and that ball is hitting it like, like that. Namath's biggest mistake of the day set the Jets back 23-20 in the fourth quarter. He had eight minutes to bring them back. There was a time during the game that Don Maynard had specifically pointed out that he could get a step on Atkinson. And I said, well, hey, I got a long one when you need it. That's the way he put it. Anytime you need it, I can get a step on him. Okay. Oh, my, don't do that. Don't, 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 don't,
We had to score. If we didn't, we were done. We sent three receivers out, just George Starr and Lammons down the middle and Don on the outside. And Don, true to his word, had that step on Atkinson. Namath dropping back to pass. He is looking, he is going to throw long for Don Maynard. And Maynard makes the pass down to the 10, and he is dumped out of bounds on the 8-yard line. A great over-the-shoulder catch in his first and goal to go. He went back like he was throwing a javelin in the Olympics, and he just flung this pass. And I remember writing that that's the play that will define this franchise. I can't believe what I'm watching. Joe Willie literally watches down the field. Here's a fake handoff to Matt Snow. Namath looking for the end zone, throwing touchdown to Maynard. Joe Namath throwing to Don Maynard. It's the most physical game, toughest game that I'd ever been in that we won. <laughs> we won. Listen to this crowd. And of course, we lost. And there it is. The Jets have won the American Football League Championship. And Bedlam breaks loose at Chase Stadium.